Hi, my name is Incarnation from Cloud9, and this is my basic champion guide to Victor. For the runes, you want to run Magic Pen at 9 Magic Pen in Marx. And for the seals, you want to run with Scaling Health per level. If you're, if you're against an AD mid, something like Seth, for example, you might want to replace the health per level with armor instead. And on the marks, I mean the glyphs, you run magic resist, flat magic resist, if you're against a mage or something like that. And um, that's only if it's like a tough matchup. You can choose between that or ability power per level, which is also fine if you're confident going into the matchup. And for the quints, you use um, 5 AP. And for masteries, you just want to go this standard 2109. And for the skill order, you want to start with E typically. You can also start with Q if you want, but E is better because it gives you the push as well. And yeah, it, it's just better in general. But Q can work if you if you want to like hard trade level one, but then you get pushed in, which is not very good. And then after Q, you I mean that after E, you take Q level two. And then level 3, I go for another E skill, uh, which I personally find better. You can also take W level 3 if you're scared of getting ganked. And you want to max your E and then your Q. For the item build, you always start with Doran Ring and 2 potions. And then you want to back at around 1000 gold and then upgrade your hex score. Then you max the E one. And then after that, there's a few build, build paths you can go. If you're against heavy AP damage, then you can go for Abyssal. And if, you, if you're just in a farming lane, then you can go for something like Morello. Or if you want to do like a lot of damage, high burst, then you can rush Luden's Echo. And your final build, it, it honestly depends on what path you choose to go. And your endgame item build should look something like Sork Boots, um, Morello, Rabadon Steph Cap, Sonia's Hourglass, Void Staff. And you should up, you, you can upgrade the hex score depending on if you need it. Like, if you want to be able to kite better, then you should upgrade it around like your third items or something. Uh, but you shouldn't upgrade it fully before like you have your final build. As Victor, you mainly just want to um, farm and scale up to late game and just stay in lane because. You, you can also roam if the opportunity presents itself, but he's a really strong lane bully, and he's pretty much a champion that you can pick whenever you want, because he doesn't really have any hard counters or anything, so he's a pretty safe pick overall. Uh, how you want to lane with him is you want to try to poke as much as possible, since your E is really long range, and it's your main ability to poke with. He's also kind of strong in dueling, depending on what champion you face. If you play something like Cassi against something like Cassiopeia, for example, you mainly just want to poke her until you get her low, and then you can go all in. The bad thing about Victor is he's kind of immobile, so you also need to be careful from jungle ganks and whatnot. And how, how you want to um, win lane with him is early on, you want to try to hit the creeps with your um, E, as well as the enemy champion. And if you can't hit the enemy champion, you should just try to push um, the creeps with your E. Because it's really important on Victor that you get level 2 first, because his level 2 is really strong. So once you get the level 2, you can actually start winning the lane and gain control. And how you want to play the team fights as Victor, there's multiple ways you can play. Because Victor is a champion that can both like CC the front line and focus them, or you can also dive the back line if you have flash up. Because Victor is a champion who have a lot of burst. So if you see the opportunity, you can flash in and try to take out their backline, or you can also just focus their frontline. And you can also try to um, start the team fight. Like before you initiate, you can try to like poke them with your E, because your E is pretty much your main damage source and it has a lot of damage. So try to like poke them before you go in. And a little tip with Victor is once you hit your level seven, your E can one-shot the entire wave if you have the upgraded um, hex score, which you should have at level seven. So that's one good thing you can do with him. So it can like open up. So you can like open up the map, go roam, put up vision or something. And there's also another thing you can do with Victor's ultimate. Um, you have to remember that when you use it, 
try to hit as many as possible and remember to remove the ultimate I mean move the ultimate around as well. Thanks for watching this guide. If you want to see more, check out the rest of our guides at lowclass.com.